Armenian American community has been active at the local, state, and federal levels of government to advance issues of concern to our community. In January of 2007, an Armenian Genocide Resolution was introduced to the United States Congress. The resolution, which was sponsored by California Congressman Adam Schiff, quickly gained 226 co-sponsors due to the hard work and tremendous efforts of Armenian American activists. The Genocide Resolution, introduced earlier this year, enjoys the highest ever number of co-sponsors uh, in the history of the resolutions that have been in the United States Congress. Uh, this is due to the hard grassroots efforts of advocates throughout the entire western United States. We have 225 co-sponsors and this resolution is a resolution for justice, is a resolution for common cause. We have to live in a world that there is no genocide and we have to live in a world that there is no genocide denial. It is about time that the moral conscious uh, Congress and the United States puts aside its hypocrisy and passes this resolution. The time has come, after 92 years, to call a spade a spade. House Resolution 106 on the affirmation of the United States record on the Amer Armenian Genocide should be adopted by this Congress. Pursuant to notice, I call up the bill HRES 106 calling upon the President to ensure that the foreign policy of the United States reflects appropriate understanding and sensitivity concerning issues related to human rights, ethnic cleansing, and genocide documented in the United States record relating to the Armenian genocide and for other purposes. On October 10, 2007, House Resolution 106 was put to a vote in the House Committee of Foreign Affairs. With a close but clear vote of 27 to 21, the influential panel of the U.S. House of Representatives took a major step toward ending U.S. complicity in Turkey's denial of the Armenian Genocide, adopting House Resolution 106, the Armenian Genocide Resolution, despite an intense campaign of threats and intimidation by the Turkish government and its lobbyists in Washington, D.C. On this vote, there are 26 ayes and 21 nays. The ayes have it, the resolution is adopted, and this uh, markup session is adjourned. Mr. Chairman. The adoption of the resolution by the House Foreign Affairs Committee on October 10th sparked a firestorm of media coverage over the Turkish government's threats to retaliate against America if the measure were approved by the full House of Representatives. Turkey has poured millions of foreign dollars into the U.S. political system, paying former members of Congress to make its case and public relations firms to spin the media coverage against this human rights legislation. On another issue before Congress, I urge members to oppose the Armenian Genocide Resolution now being considered by the House Foreign Affairs Committee. We all deeply regret the tragic suffering of the Armenian, people. Of the Armenian people that began in 1915. This resolution is not the right response to these historic mass killings. And its passage would do great harm to our relations with a key ally in NATO and in the global war on terror. We just wanted to make a brief comment about the Armenian Genocide Resolution that is before the House of Representatives uh, Foreign Affairs Committee today. Um, we are all in agreement that the passage of this resolution would be very destabilizing to our efforts in the Middle East, very destabilizing to our efforts in Iraq and Afghanistan, uh, because Turkey, as an important strategic ally, is uh, very critical in supporting the efforts that we're making in uh, these crucial areas. Uh, so this is, is not to, uh, to ignore what was a really terrible situation, and we recognize the feelings of those who want to express their concern and their disdain for what happened uh, many years ago.
course of the past year, Armenian Americans and human rights advocates have joined with members of Congress in educating their colleagues about the Armenian Genocide and the importance of proper recognition of this crime against humanity. We must continue to work collectively to advance the issue of Armenian Genocide recognition and hope for a day where genocides will no longer occur. Thank you.